So do we just need money? Become an aristocrat, maybe? I don't, hmm. I don't really know what to do with myself here. Because, like, a lot of these are just going to take a lot of time, I think. Maybe? Or it's not as important as I think it is. I, I don't know. Let's grab a lot of those. And then we're probably done brewing beer for a while. So let's go back to golden... Uh... Let's go back to making wine. Okay, so we're we're on to uh, grapes. We're not going to make that much from this, honestly, because the price bottoms out really fast. But I figure just going bananas with uh. Going bananas with a bunch of of wine is probably my fastest way to make extra money. Ish. I guess we could work on uh oops, didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Been playing too much uh Knight of uh Knights of Tartarus. And so I'm used to using the D-pad to move right now, and it's uh throwing me off so super hard. Okay, yeah, let's let's just uh let's just load up all of these and just make like a dumb amount of wine over the next like couple days. Cause I honestly can't tell you what else to do with myself. While we wait, because I don't have any like tasks or things to like prep. We've got all of my like basic build chains going. And so until the Inquisitor talks about the the king and human rights. I don't know. Yeah, how did I deal with losing the progress in it? I just walked back. Did, did the same thing. Technically, I'm on the other side of that cave, but didn't lose too much. I I don't like it when games crash on me. Especially when you lose, like, 20 minutes of progress. It's easier in games like this where, yeah, you lose, like, a little bit, but, eh. Okay. Yeah, the best method for money is crates. Generally true. Uh, the only reason why I haven't been doing too much with them is I just don't have more. I guess we could we could uh, jam up a bunch of nails because I probably have a bunch of iron at this point. We could we can make an unholy amount of nails to sell. Yeah. So fix the mill, become an aristocrat. Okay, so that's that's some serious cratage going on there. Okay, I gotta keep these guys on onions. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze at some point. <coughs> ah. I apologize. Yeah, I guess I could get some more zombies just working on pure onions for me. Spit onions forever. Like, I'm just gonna grab this. We don't need any more silver. Oh, this is why I'm not super interested in making wine. Because this part sucks. Not too much, but it's like... You can't batch build this stuff. Oh, this is going to take some time. But yeah, once we get up to... Is it 10, 12 gold? Where we have nothing else to spend money on, really. And then I think we're scot-free and we can just finish the game. Okay. Let's see, could you get the Restless Dead to do it for you? Unfortunately, no. Uh, for starters, they don't have the perk, so they don't they don't get the quality bonus. 
Uh, and for secondaries, they uh, you straight up can't stick them on the uh, the press. They won't operate it. There are a couple of uh, construction stations that, yeah, the uh, the zombies just don't function on. Oh well, it's not too too slow, and yeah, having infinite stamina really does take the edge off of almost anything. Because yeah, I can just uh... I can just stand here uh, making buckets of grape juice forever. Is it? Yeah, it is grape juice. For a second, I was, thought it was like berry juice, and I was just like, what? Yeah, there's a couple of things that I could work on if I really wanted to. Like, we could figure out getting proper aromatherapy in the, uh, in the church. Uh, what is it? It's ar aromas? No. Incense. There we go. That's, that's the word. Like, I could work on getting better incense for the, uh, for the church, for, like, a little bit extra faith, but I'm just, I'm not, I'm not enthused about that. That sounds like a time-consuming process. And I'm much more interested in, uh... Well, I don't even need that much faith right now. It's mainly just like a, well, I'll, I'll use it when I got it. As opposed to like going way out of my way to get more. Okay, drop that off. Inventory's starting to fill up a smidge. A smidge. Oh, right. Got to make more onions. Onions. I'm a little bit mad that a delivery full of gold star onions nets me only a couple of the schmeckles more than the uh like a little bit more than the uh I did okay zombie didn't drop any or zombie sorry uh the gold star onions only gets me a little bit more than nails like I feel like that should give me more I, I feel like you should be really be able to like do crazy marketing campaigns and really extend that out so I've got like boatloads of uh Onions just going out every day, and they're selling for a lot because they're wonder onions. I don't know. Who knows what? I need more financial simulator stuff. I see. Is chat just not working for you? Is it just empty for an hour? It was not working for you. People are chatting. Kind of a quiet night. But it's still going. Yeah, wow. Upgrading the graveyard actually really is upticking the amount we're getting from these guys. Because, yeah, pretty soon we're just going to be getting a gold a week from these. So, you wonder if you heard of Gunsmith. A game. No, I don't... I may... It doesn't ring bells, but I'm also pretty focused on more, like, upcoming releases. Unless it's something completely different, at which I definitely don't know. Okay, drop this off, enter the corpse. And we don't have anything for that yet. I gotta work on making more grave markers. So we did the silver injection. Oops. I want to do that. There we go. Okay. Take this body. Get the next glue injection going. Okay. So we, we're done with that. This. Do I use this? No. Paper with calculations. Okay. So let's go talk to the. Uh, let's go talk to the miller. So what happens when all the graves are full? Then your graveyard is done, and you just burn the rest? Question mark. Okay. Trade. Wait, what do I do with the calculations?
Oh, look at the mill. Okay. So we need advanced iron parts and planks. Thank you. Guess that should have been obvious, but whatever. Okay, so... Grab those. Grab those. We should probably make some more advanced iron parts at some point, but later. But yeah, mainly, uh, you just keep upgrading the graveyard until you hit max. There's no, like, special thing, I think, for hitting, like, absolute maximum. Okay, right. This isn't it. This is it. I should probably also get the, uh, the lumberjack as axe. I don't actually know if it's gonna help me with much. I could just do it because. Okay. Oh, you fixed it. You can mill your wheat here if you, for free if you want. If this helps me get Elisa's paper. Okay, so I can just use the mill. I hear the mill is fixed. That's good for business. Elisa really does want to go. I love my daughter. I want what's best for her. So she can go. What a nice man. I seriously thought this was a lady. So does that unlock the rest of his stock? No, there's still firewood that I can buy from this guy, but I can't buy it from for some reason. Okay, so... Are we good? Release his paper. So we probably just have to wait. We finally figured out he's not a lady. Uh, yeah? I don't know why I thought he was a woman. But... Well, whatever. Not that it matters that much. Okay, so... That was the other thing I wanted to double check. We gotta figure out how to get the necklace. And I missed that. Because I, I talked to the dude, I talked to Krokel, and he told me to go away, more or less. And I don't remember if there's another s step to the process. Okay, or Kokel. Let's see. After you have enough relationship with Snake, he informs you, ran into problems acquiring the necklace. Uh, oh. After you discuss the necklace, the player considers that the necklace may never be found. Talk to Miss Charm to continue the quest line. So, the necklace is just, is just a complete dead end. Nothing. It's it's nothing. It's a it's a wild goose chase. Oh. Hi, I'm Tress. I'm the graveyard keeper. Nice to meet you. If you need some wooden materials, I'd be happy to help you. For stone materials, you can visit my brother Cory. They're definitely brothers. Okay, so this dude just sells related stuff. Huh. This is one of those unsatisfying moments in the game, like when you learn the town is inaccessible. Yeah, I felt- I feel like there is like a solid third of this game that just isn't in the game. And it's fine, like it doesn't bug me too much. But it's, um, you know. It would have been nice to have them like almost restructure it so the town is... Well, I don't know. Anyway. Time travel. I'm going to be using and abusing some of these things. Okay, there we go. Wait for time to normalize. Okay, we're good. Okay, I got Elisa's papers. Here's the paperwork. She can go with you to the concert. Wonderful. We just need to correct your age a little bit, plus two years. That'll make everything a little easier. Hmm, the correction looks sloppy. I bet it's pretty obvious that someone corrected the number. 
Now I need an aristocrat to countersign the paper, but I don't want to ask just anyone. The wrong rumor could be the death of my rep reputation. Maybe you could get some aristocrat papers. Then I'd only need your signature. Wow, that looks pretty illegal. You're one to talk. I bet you get all, up to all sorts of legal stuff at your graveyard. Besides, it's not like I'll forget to thank you, my sweet. I don't like it, but I guess ends justify the means. All right. So we've got to become, we've got to make more money. This is awkward. And I'm not sure how I want to time it or do things or Let's see how much money I can make with all that wine I've got. Maybe. Uh No. There's so I don't know if I can actually cheat in the money. I know people are suggesting it, and, like, it is actually really tempting. Um, the problem is... I'm not sure if I can access the... I'm not. I'm honestly not sure if I can access it that, that well. So we need flitch, iron parts, and nails. Wait, how much of each? Because we want to make at least several. So, 12, 5, and 7. Okay. We don't need these. We don't need this. Put this away. Still got the uh, the lower quality grapes that I don't know what to do with. I'll just keep them here for the time being. Um. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just grab all of those. Because effectively, what I want to do is is make as much wine as possible. The price is gonna bottom out instantly. I can only make two of these. We actually don't have enough space for more. At least we can get a little bit more... Um... Okay, let's cancel this. Because I have to be on this side to even open this. Can I access it from here? Okay, so I can still access it from the top. It just won't let me, like, work on it effectively. Okay. You wonder, would you ever consider playing some of the Gene Forge Saga games? Uh, maybe? If I remember right, they were fairly long, which is kind of tough. Like, truly, I time is the biggest villain of everything. The shorter a game is, the more likely I am to play it, because I can just load it up as on a whim. Uh, the longer a game is, the more likely I'm going to have to actually sit down and, you know, dedicate my time to it. So, very specifically, I was watching uh, Jazz play Y2K, a postmodern RPG earlier, which a number of people have requested. And I actually think it looks like a pretty rad game. Uh, weird, but rad? I don't know. Like, it looks like an interesting RPG that I'd 
be, you know, I'd actually have fun doing a series on. Um, full voice acting, bunch of stuff. But the problem is it's like a 30 hour long game, which is like 60 episodes, which is like, you know, say I play it for three hours a night, that's still, you know, 10 plus nights, night after night of streaming one singular game. Uh, or, you know, a full week if I only play the one game, give or take. And that's a really tough thing for me, because it's like... You get fatigued? And you guys especially get fatigued. Especially if it's not like a, a primo game. And I know some people will watch, like, whatever I do, but not everybody does. And I totally understand that, but it, it puts me, like, in a tough spot with the longer games. I remember the slog of trying to get through Persona 5, which was so long. Yeah, they're all about 40 hours long, which is, like, to a normal person that plays, like, one game sequentially, it's not so bad. But for me, because I'm switching around constantly, uh, 40 hours long is real spooky. Because I could do that if I had infinite time or no other games to play. But... Did I drink another thing of wine? Oh, I drank another speed potion. Well, that's fine. Hey, thank you, Shady Book. For the six-month resub. You are back indeed. Thank you so much. Okay, so Graveyard's looking a lot better. We still gotta get two more praying angels here. And we do not have any silver, uh... Silver star busts. Did I ever get back to Spider-Man? Nope. That is one of those that I want to get back to. I know it won't take too long, it's just a matter of, like... I really, I'm really focused on finishing this game for some weird reason. I didn't even have a good reason for why I came back to this, apart from the fact that people kind of were asking for it. Uh, well, no, no one asked for me to come back to this. I just put it on a poll and everybody was like, ah, Graveyard Keeper, and I'm like, okay. But no, that that's super high on the list. Lots of things are honestly super high on the list. It's just... A, Matter of getting there. Cause I also like in would like to go back to the Digimon games that I never finished. Well, Digimon game. I only I only never finished one of them. Technically there was post game stuff to uh next order, but ugh, getting to that point is going to be rough. <sighs> Hopefully with like a proper couch setup, it'll be a lot easier. Because then I can actually sit down. What about Gundam? Uh, I, I'm probably not going to go back to the Gundam fighting game. I'm not very big on fighting games. Now if they came up with a good Gundam game, I'd be down for it. But Gundam Breaker was an awful, terrible disappointment. Let's see, have I heard about Digimon Survive? Uh, not only have I heard about it, I've played it. I can't talk about what I've played with it, but I have played it. Uh, that's one of those things that when I got, got to visit Namco Bandai, uh, he more or less pulled out a, a demo reel copy of the game and was just like, Yo, check this out. Uh, do you think Western audiences are going to like this? And I'm like, yes? You know, this looks like the best game you've put in front of me so far, because he... He showed me several prototypes, and he was really nervous. Like, you could tell uh, the Digimon people are a little little dicey about uh, starting new series. Um, because, you know, historically, the Digimon series has been a little bit uh, up and down. And so... 
You know, they played it really safe, more or less making a Persona-ish clone for uh, the most recent one. Well, I guess not the most recent one, the, uh, the Cyber Sleuth series. And then they went back to the World 1 formula for, well, the sequel, I guess. And now they're on to... Uh, one second. Now they're on to starting a new type of thing, which is like part visual novel, part like turn-based strategy game, which is really exciting for me. Because... Like, it seemed a lot more interesting. Like It seemed like it was going to be a lot more interesting than any of the other ones they're working on. Which I'm really excited for. Okay, so we were working on wine, kind of. You need to make more flitch. Now, did I get all the wine out of here? Oh god, I have so much wine. Yeah, it sounds like something we didn't know we wanted. I mean, I wanted it. I knew I wanted it. I think I've even said in the past that I'd actually rather some of these, like, overblown JRPGs get turned into really good visual novels. As long as it's not, like, dumb dating sim stuff. It's like, I can, I can appreciate, like... A light dating sim with a good gameplay to, like, back it up. Okay, how much money do you have? You have a lot of money. That's good. I want it. Oh my god, I'm only gonna get 67 silver out of this. Okay, I might be able to get a little bit more than 67 silver. Damn, those diminishing returns are nuts. Um. Wow. So what's this about in a new Digimon game? It's Digimon Survive. It's one part visual novel. Uh, I don't think you'd be able to like save and reload. Uh, but you're like trapped in a school or something, and it's it's kind of, I think you're trapped in a school, whatever. Uh, and it like had kind of a dark theme, and it's like. Visual novel -y stuff, you're talking to people, making decisions and whatever, uh, that actually, like, have kind of a major impact in, in how, uh, the story plays out. And potentially the point where, like, a character might die. Uh, and then between that, you've got, you also have, uh, like, turn-based strategy battles. Kind of like, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics or Fire Emblem or something like that. Which looks really cool. And I I can't wait to play it. Like, that sounds so much more interesting than the Cyber Sleuth games, which for me were ultimately kind of boring. Like, it's like, okay, it's a JRPG with light monster collection elements, but ultimately, like, I was just bored playing it. Okay, so we gotta get back up here. We gotta make some more beer. Hi, ah, Digimon never had death. My child is crashing down around me. And you clearly didn't watch Digimon, because they had Digimon. They had death. It got dark. 